Some of the top high school talent in the country making their way to Long Island, providing some of the best playmaking ability on display this weekend as you're watching the Geico High School Lacrosse Showcase presented by Buick. Six programs in total participating in this two-day event, including the host school in St. Anthony, set to take on Lincoln Sudbury. Back in Brennan O'Neill going to Duke. I'll tell you, Brennan O'Neill, he may be the top high school player in the country. Duke's lucky to get him, all right? He can uh, run the offense. He's a terrific quarterback, makes things happen every time he touches the ball. And as quickly as St. Anthony's began this game, they strike quickly to take a 1-0 lead early on here against LS. Brennan O'Neill, the highly touted prospect heading to Duke, starting off the scoring for St. Anthony's. Well, we talked about O'Neill at the top of the show. He is just a big, strong athlete. Starts to go left, but can bring it back, comes right. Really nice finish. St. Anthony's high. forces the cause turnover. That time, I think Johnny Hurley had a shot after his first move, but he held on to it a little bit too long. And coming right down the alley for the goal is Andrew McAdory, the sophomore midfielder. They're used to this type of scenario. They are. Shows a lot of heart and determination. That's a real nice play for a goal. And Garrity is the one that comes up with his 11th goal of the season off the feed from Herlihy. And they've got their first goal here today to the Warriors of Lincoln Sudbury. Nice little play here, strong dodge. Looks for the skip pass. Garrity does a nice job of stepping out. Matt Ward, 24 in blue, low angle shot. And point blank range. Hurley goes top shelf. And we are tied up at two. Nice look inside by number six, Kyle Smith. Donnelly does a nice job of seeing, reading the defense, finding the seam, catching the ball on the run, continuing the to kids, move. And they've got, um, they've got a good game plan, and they're not going to back down. They didn't come all the way down here from Massachusetts not to play the best lacrosse. And just like that, St. Anthony's comes up with a response of their own. On the play. Good job. Bonomi looking for his second. And that one falls in for the Michigan commit. And he's back in front for three. Another strong move to the goal. All right. Time that the midfielder came at him and a little under control. Bonomi read that, ran right by him. That was a good matchup for him. A little hidden ball trick action there, coach. Left wing shot. And that one laces through for a goal. And St. Anthony with their largest lead up by three. Cage. Good position defense that time. Shot on the run. And Kyle Smith, who's heading to Cornell, cuts the deficit down to two. Oh, good communication. There's no shot clock in these games this weekend. Unlike we see in the college level as Polo goes top shelf and extends the lead to seven to four. Off the assist by Bonomi. And a pair of seniors helping the cause. He's a captain, so you know he's a leader as well. Steps up, makes plays. This time he shows that he's dangerous as a left-hander. Has an uncanny ability to finish the ball. It's going to be a force in the Big Ten, but on the other side, the quick answer by Smith, his second goal. Smith, he's a player. Good strong move. Gets back inside, gets to his right hand. Have an opportunity, still have numbers. Good feed in front, shot. And just like that, St. Anthony's a tactician. Bonomi, make that now four goals on the day for the Michigan commit. Bonomi. That's a little set play. Dumps it in front, and another goal added to St. Anthony, as this time O'Neill, the number one prospect in next year's class, tallies his second goal of the day, and that attack unit has just been on a different level. Well, a little two-man play there, and then again, Brennan O'Neill, he's just a, a monster, 
and uh, he's willing to go in there and, and take the hit and, and score a big goal. And a fight for it. Good Mitchell tough ground set ball. a pass. And Garrity comes up with the strike on Cage off the feed from Ward. Give that goal to Matt Ward. You can't fault a player for being unselfish. Feet in front, O'Neal now has himself a hat trick. Bonomi with another assist. O'Neal, Bonomi, and McAdory all have hat tricks in this game for St. Anthony's. Well, we've said those two names a lot today, Bonomi and O'Neal. O'Neal proves that he can also be effective off the ball. Like the 3-3. Three, three. The beauty of the 3-3 three, three is you have O'Neal inside who can handle that type of feed, turn and shoot. Make that four for O'Neal. They say good players make good coaches. Here's a good example right in here. O'Neal, they share the crease on their man down. O'Neal keeps moving, finds the open seam, tough feed inside, handles it, turns, scores a big goal. The passing is incredible. That leads to a top shelf goal by Jake Bonomi. Make that number five for the senior captain. Johnny Harley again. Gets his hands free. No quit. No quit in this squad. His second goal today along with an assist for the Warriors. Big save. And that kind of really wraps it up for St. Anthony's. And that will do it for the fifth-ranked Friars. They come at home, host this weekend showcase, and put on a dominating performance in their victory over LS.